Lately, I have been getting a lot of requests to create an end-to-end -end course for Terraform. That was not the biggest confusion. The biggest confusion for me was which cloud should I go for. I started a poll on my YouTube and LinkedIn. So here are the results from the LinkedIn poll. I also did poll on my YouTube and here are the results. So I have decided to do something that no content creator has ever done. At least not on YouTube, at least to my knowledge. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and lately I have been getting a lot of requests to create an end-to-end -end course for Terraform. So I thought, yes, uh, it's high time that we start working on it and because this is the need of the hour and everyone needs it, everyone is requesting it through DMs, through comments on the YouTube videos and I have been personally getting a lot of requests as well. But that was not the biggest confusion. The biggest confusion for me was which cloud should I go for? Like Terraform is an infrastructure as a code tool that works very well with the cloud provider. So either I have to go with AWS or GCP or Azure. Now I could have created the content on any of those clouds along with Terraform because I have fairly a good experience working with all three clouds. But at the same time, I wanted to make sure that I would create something that has some value that is also required by you to fulfill your job responsibility or something that you can use to prepare for your next career transition or getting a job into cloud and DevOps. So that's why I did what I always do. I started a poll on my YouTube and LinkedIn. So here are the results from the LinkedIn poll and the results are pretty clear. People are requesting Azure with Terraform because it has the highest number of demand in the market, but the content is fairly moderate, right? It, because it's not one of the oldest cloud. So that's why there is a moderate amount of content available when it comes to Terraform with Azure. But that was not the end of the confusion because I also did poll on my YouTube and here are the results. So now if you see over here, people are requesting AWS with Terraform, even though there is fairly a good amount of content available free of cost as well as paid courses when it comes to AWS with Terraform, but people want to see my version of AWS with Terraform. I'm not bragging or anything or maybe a little bit, but uh, that's what people been telling me. If you can check the comment sections as well. So it's because of the recent playlist that I have published, uh, especially with Kubernetes, especially with Azure DevOps. Uh, I have been getting a lot of love and support for those playlists. So I really appreciate everyone who has been supporting me in this journey. And because of that, people really like the way I presented it and they want to see my version of AWS with Terraform. Now. The question is which cloud should I go for because people are requesting both. And then on the other hand, GCP, which has really low amount of content available with Terraform. So I have decided to do something that no content creator has ever done, at least not on YouTube, at least to my knowledge. So I'll be creating end to end playlist for Terraform with all three clouds. I'll start with Azure with Terraform then GCP with Terraform and then at the end AWS with Terraform. It will be an end-to-end -end playlist for a beginner. Yes, there'll be some prerequisites uh, like some basic fundamental knowledge of cloud and few other concepts. I'll, I'll get back to that in a, in a minute, but this is what I'm going to do. So this video is specifically to announce that we'll be starting with Azure with Terraform and it will have a lot of amazing content. If you have been following me for a while, you already be aware of uh, the quality of content that I deliver. And if you are new here, go check out my previous playlist, go check out the Kubernetes playlist. It's been such a hit So check it out and you will love it. So some important timelines, when should you expect the videos? So I'll be starting it from today onwards. So I'll be starting the recording and everything and you can expect the videos to be starting from um, mid of December and like always I'll be publishing three to four videos per week. Uh, I have planned around 27, 28 videos for the first series. So this is what you'll get. Uh, I know I have been 
you know much active lately on youtube for the past couple of months because of some you know personal commitments uh, yes uh, we welcomed a newborn at her home so now i am a father of two kids and uh, it's it's been an overwhelming experience uh, i am overjoyed with emotions but at the same time i have to give time to my family as the first priority so that's why i haven't been much active on youtube lately but i am back now i'll try to do whatever i can it's 5 am in the morning my kids are asleep and i am here recording the videos for you uh, so that i can deliver what i promised earlier so let me take you to the github repository and show you what i have planned okay so i have created a github repository you will find the link in the description section below so we'll start with this one here are some prerequisites prerequisite is you should have an azure account uh if you don't already have it you can follow this video and get uh, get started with it there is a link for azure fundamentals if you are new to azure it's a 3 hour video which covers almost all the fundamentals concepts so go through it then uh, have ide set up because we'll be working with a lot of code in this particular series uh the terraform code in hcl so make sure you have visual studio code setup or any preferred id then git installed make sure you are either using linux or mac or wsl which is windows subsystem for linux don't really work directly on windows powershell or command prompt will not be doing that because of so many obvious reasons then linux and shell scripting basics understanding of yaml json networking fundamentals docker kubernetes and so on right now i have shared links over here for the topics that i have already created video and content on it the rest you can you know find out yourself over youtube or any paid course or like whatever your preferred way of learning now we'll start with like this entire series divided into three modules one is core concepts of terraform then azure related concepts and then finally advanced concept so first module has around 10 videos which start with introduction to terraform over here will have some basic theory about what it is why do we use it and so on and then we'll start with installing terraform and so on then we'll understand terraform provider resource group storage backend like you can go through the github repository okay so it has everything including the data structure loops conditional expressions and so on then we'll start with module 2 which is azure resources with terraform in this we'll start with uh, infrastructure as a code service such as virtual machine virtual machine scale sets network security groups then networking vnet and peering and other pass services uh, serverless kubernetes i have covered everything don't worry about it right and then if you go back even database monitoring ev everything right then the third one is advanced concept in advanced concept we'll looking into public modules custom modules how can we create these custom modules and publish so that others can also use it here you can make uh, the open source contribution as well right terraform cloud and workspaces and it has five separate real time projects as well okay the first project is over here uh, where we'll be creating kubernetes cluster using the custom modules okay the second project is over here where we'll be creating some custom modules and publish it and then the third project is azure devops with terraform okay then the fourth project is 3 tier architecture in azure using terraform then the fifth project is aks upgrade with zero downtime using terraform and then finally we'll have best practices and some provisional related video okay here is the repository structure it will have three folders one is for lessons this lesson will have your code diagrams uh, and any important links the projects will specifically have projects so it will have five projects as i have mentioned and then there'll be a any extra document will be placed over here in the docs folder okay So yeah that's that's the github repository that i have just created a couple of days back and i'll be working with it again nothing is written in stone 
I can modify this GitHub repository to add or update some content as I see fit, as I start recording, as I move along with the recording and publishing the video. So if you have any questions, any doubts at this time, you can comment on the video and let me know and I will definitely try to work on it. So yeah, um, that's, that's the announcement that I wanted to make. So be ready for it. Make sure by the time that I start publishing the video, you should already have these prerequisites done. Otherwise, uh, you will face some difficulties uh, in understanding it. So let me show you one more thing. So if you remember, I have recently published another video, okay, uh, about cloud and DevOps roadmap. So if we have a look at that, I'm not explaining that it just, I wanted to show you something around that. CKE, where it is, DevOps roadmap, okay. Okay, so if you see the diagram over here, so it has five phases, which starts with fundamentals, core IT skills, cloud DevOps, and then projects. So we are over here in the fourth phase with Terraform. So we recently did Azure DevOps, we recently did a Docker and Kubernetes. Now we are doing Terraform, right? So we are over here in this fourth phase. So make sure you already have the previous phases done. Make sure you have the fundamental skills, the foundational knowledge, make sure you have the core IT skills and make sure you have the fundamental knowledge of cloud. I'm not saying you should be an expert in cloud by this time, but you should have the fundamental knowledge of cloud. And in this case, because we are using Azure, so make sure you have the Azure fundamental knowledge. I have shared the links uh, already in the GitHub repository. So go check it out. Star the repository if you find it helpful and try to share uh, this video and the upcoming videos with your friends, colleagues, who you think could take the advantage of this learning opportunity. All right. So yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon and have a good rest of the day. Thank you.